Hello friends, thank you so much for joining me today. Today we are finishing up our three-part series. We did a full styling series with a bridal detail invitation suite and today we are finishing up with groom's details. I know that groom's details are something that many of you say you don't have time for or the groom doesn't have anything so we're going to do something so simple today. So easy and so fast. So we're going to start with the shoes. When styling the groom's details, I want you to think about a man. A man is tall, and we are going to style his details that way. Nice and linear, okay? Up and down. Every once in a while we'll do something on a diagonal, but for the most part your elements are going to be very straight. It's a little bit more masculine, masculine that way as well. So we're going to start off with our shoes. I want them up and down, and I also want you to think about how it would be worn on a person okay so this is how it would look things start to look a little bit weird when you think see things styled this way so we want it tall we want it up and down we want it the way the groom would wear it again the brand isn't important however if your groom had like Versace shoes or something that you wanted to see this detail, I would make sure that I pulled that down into the shot. But for this, I don't wanna see this. I don't wanna see the laces. Um, so I'm going to pull that out of the shot. But if you did want that in the shot, make sure to pay attention to those details. Make sure you're tucking those in and that it looks really nice. But for this, we're gonna make sure they're out of the shot. So I'm gonna start with that. We're going to just use a plain tie, again, making sure that everything is tucked in and linear, just like the groom would wear it, up and down, nice and tall. And I'm just gonna style it right next to it for now. We're probably gonna go back and tweak a little bit for spacing, um, but again, we wanna leave a little bit of space for shadow, for your camera. We're gonna use this larger styling dish. I'm working on a groom's flat lay kit that will be coming to the shop. So if you want that, shoot me a message so I can add you to the wait list. This is silver, it's a brushed silver, and it's the perfect size for your boutonniere. That's what we're gonna put in here. And then we're gonna use a ring, but instead of using a ring box, we are going to use one of our acrylic styling blocks. Now, when you set it on here a lot of times surfaces are not level it is hard to stay so this is one of my favorite little hacks you can use all sorts of different um, mediums but this is from Amazon again they sell them by the roll they're super cheap it's very sticky and it doesn't hurt the ring I'm just gonna put it on here if I can get it off my finger and then I'm gonna pull this out of the shot so that I can see but I'm making sure that it is centered inside the acrylic styling block. And then I'm just pushing down. You can pull it off and move it again. It's very tacky, but then this way it's centered and I can move this around and it's going to be fine. It's not going to fall off, but I think this is a very cool, masculine, modern way to display your men's rings and another hack for your acrylic styling blocks. So I have that, and then I'm going to use this dish. Um, this is actually a vintage dish, and you could use this side, but I wanna use the cork side. It feels a little bit more masculine to me, and I'm gonna use a floral riser and an acrylic styling block. I like to just stack different things, and what I'm doing is I'm giving this height. We've talked before about the star of the show, what's the most important thing in the detail shot that you're doing. And for this, I mean, everything is important, but the wedding band kind of is the star of the show, so this is kind of gonna be more centered. And now that I have everything in the shot, I'm probably going to just kind of pull my elements in, move everybody over a little bit. And as I'm looking at my composition, these two elements are similar in width to the shoes, so I'm kind of making that line up. I also wanna talk about kissing. You talk to your couples about kissing or touching. Your visual flat lay elements are exactly the same, so you want some of them to be kissing and touching and overlapping, which is exactly what's happening here. So this is our most important element, so it's lifted up, and it's overlapping just a little bit, not too much, 
this dish with the boutonniere in it. This could be it. Let's say that's all your groom has. This could be a very simple, elegant flat lay. You could be completely done. If he has cufflinks, you could just lay them in down here. You could also, sometimes they'll stand up. So you could stand one up. You also, I'm just giving you options at this point. You could be completely finished. And I was talking to you and that took five minutes. You also, another acrylic styling block. This is where things get a little, we're gonna break the rules. When I said about things on a diagonal, I'm going to turn this acrylic styling block ever so slightly on an angle. And I'm mimicking the same angle right here of the tie. And I'm making sure that this, this space and this space are pretty even. And I'm going to put my cufflinks on there. So if he had that additional detail, you could do that. You don't have to, it could be finished. We're gonna take that away. If he had a watch, let's say the groom had a watch, you could also, this one doesn't come all the way done. You could also lay this in here and then put your cufflinks down here. You just wanna take into account how much space you have in between everything and your elements. So here, if I had that, I would kind of make this centered in between these and voila. Groom's details I think are gaining popularity and why not let the groom have a moment to shine? I know it is hard. I know you're so pressed on time, but this took five minutes and your groom for sure has shoes. He's got a tie and he has a boutonniere and a wedding ring. So even if he didn't have these details, you could create something really timeless and elegant for him and something to add to your portfolio to help you level up your brand and your business. So thank you so much for joining me. It has been a blast to do this series. Please do me a favor and if you liked this video, hit that subscribe button to never miss another styling video. And I would be so grateful if you would leave a comment below and let me know what you want to style next. I'm Jamie from Champagne and Grit. Thank you so much for styling with me. Have a fantastic day.